is terrible. I remember one year my mom took me school shopping. It was me, my brother, my mom, oh, my pops, and my little sister all hopped in the car. We headed downtown to the gallery mall. My mom started talking about the clothes she chose. I didn't say nothing at first. I just turned on my nose. She said, what's wrong? This shirt cost $20. I said, mom, this shirt is plaid with a butterfly collar. Next half hour was the same old thing. My mother buying me clothes from 1963. And then she lost her mind and did the ultimate. I asked her for Adidas and she bought me... Wait. Yeezys. Mom, please put, put the bell on Brady Bunch trousers. But if you don't want to, I can live with that. But you gotta put back the double that reversible slacks. She wasn't moved. Everything stayed the same. Inevitably, the first day of school came. I thought they could go over. I tried to play sick, but my mom said, no, no, way. uh-uh, forget it. There was nothing I could do. I tried to relax. I got dressed up in those ancient artifacts. When I walked into school, it was just that I thought the kids were crazy. Laughing at the clothes on my body, and those who were laughing still at a bowl because they were pointing and whispering as I walked down the hall. I got home and told my mom how my day went. She said, You're laughing, you don't need them because they're not good friends. <laughs> Six hours, try to explain to my mom as good as the go through was about 200 more times. Tell you the kids all the cross and thank you for the thing in the cartoon. Holy shit, why am I sweating? My socks off. the situation. My parents went away on a week's vacation. They left the keys to the brand new Porsche. Would they mind? Mm, well, of course not. I'll just take it for a little spin and maybe show it off to a couple of friends. I'll just cruise around the neighborhood. Well, maybe I should. Yeah, of course I should. Pay attention, here's the thick of the plot. I pull up to the corner at the end of my block. And that's when I saw this beautiful girly girl walking. I took out my car phone to put the trick like I was talking. You should have seen this girl's bodily dimensions. I honk my horn just to get her attention. She said, was that for me? I said, yeah. She said, why? She said, come on and take a ride with a hell of a guy. She said, how do I know you're not sick? You could be some deranged lunatic. I said, come on, chick. She agreed that we were on our way. She was all very good, and so was I, my safe word. We hit McDonald's, pulled her to the drive. We ordered two Big Macs and two large fries. And then she kicked her shoes off onto the floor and said, Drive fast, he turned me on. She put her hand on my knee. I put my foot on the gas. We almost got whiplash. It took us so fast. The sunroof was open. The music was high, and this girl's hand was slowly moving up my thigh. She had opened up three buttons on her shirt so far. I guess Parents had to come up for vacation and get me. Rather be in jail than have my father hit me. We walked in, I got my grip. I said, Oh, mom, dad, how was your trip? They didn't speak. I said, I want to put it in my face. But my father just shoved me in the car by my face. It was a long ride home. I don't know how I survived. They took, took one was beaten while the other was driving. Something then happened next time. It was like such a time to play. So I tell you all the kids all the Yeah.